born August 21st, 1974 in North Central Philadelphia. His father later changed his name to Umar Abdullah Johnson. Umar had been featured in three of the popular Hidden Color documentary series, and he is the founder and president of the National Independent Black Parent Association. To date, he has written only one book called The Psychoacademic War Against Black Boys. Umar is a certified school psychologist who claims to be a doctor of clinical psychology. People know Umar Johnson as a professional fundraiser who for four years has promised to open an independent boarding school for black boys, but has yet to deliver that promise. Ever since Umar Johnson stepped in the lecture circuit, people have complimented him on being an intelligent and articulate brother. However, as time passed and Umar did more lectures and was featured in more documentaries and began to have more of a presence on social media, he began to show his true colors and people started to look at Umar Johnson in a different light. People have labeled Umar Johnson as a narcissist, as homophobic, as a womanizer, as a segregationist, and a scam artist and fraud. In this video, I want to take a look at why people have made thousands of videos and blogs exposing Umar Johnson. One of the major complaints is that Umar is a womanizer and he is targeting single mothers. I've personally looked into this accusation and after doing some research, it seems to be true. In October 2014, we find Umar Johnson posting on Twitter a fundraiser called Date the Doctor, with the prize being a confidential, all-expense-paid evening with Dr. Umar himself. Months later, we find Umar Johnson promoting on social media an all-ladies event, where we can only assume that he and probably only the security and maybe one or two promoters will be the only men at the venue. I want you to keep in mind that Umar is an unmarried father with two children by two women. But here we find him speaking in May 2016 at a single mother's conference where we can only imagine that he is giving advice to single mothers about the importance of black marriage and abstinence. It's very obvious that Umar does not practice what he preaches and is utilizing his female followers as dating prospects. When you look on social media, you're going to find that Umar Johnson is posing with 90% females. One would think that being that he has presented himself as someone who cares about the psychoacademic war against black boys and often preaches about the importance of a two-family household, that you would see Umar Johnson posing with mostly young black men and black families. However, if you follow Dr. Umar Johnson on social media, you're going to find him posing with 90% females and selling I love Dr. Umar Johnson t-shirts and hoodies. Now, I don't think there's anything wrong with Umar Johnson searching for a potential date or selling merchandise to his female supporters. However, given the fact that Umar has two baby mothers and has not been married and has been caught with a stripper who he later called a maggot and thirsty after she exposed him for lying that he was celibate, Call me crazy, but I think it would be best for Umar Johnson to take care of his child support issues, settle down with one woman, and stop preying on his female supporters. Now, I'm going to play a clip of a disorder that Umar Johnson claims that most black women are suffering from, and I want you to ask yourself the question, is he right? Are most black women suffering from this disorder, or is Umar Johnson projecting and self-diagnosing himself? Our daughters love being alone with men they don't know after the frat party with their hot asses. Girls who are molested go on to develop fattish personality disorder. Fattish personality disorder. This is my disorder. I made it up. Fat. We all know what a fat is. That hole over there. Multiple orgies, multiple head jobs, multiple orgies, multiple head jobs. Fattish personality behavior. A lot of black girls and black women. Fattish personality disorder. This is my disorder. I made them fat. We all know what the fat is. That hole over there. Oh. <laughs> Did 
Can we just put the bottle in this order? I can't do it. I can't. <laughs> You have got to be kidding me. Now, now he can't tell me that somebody manipulated that audio. That was him. This man just said, Thottish personality disorder. Something he made up. People, this man is sick. I can't. <laughs> He's a narcissist. He really is. There's no doubt in my mind that Umar Johnson is a greedy hotep hustler. I remember a while back when people were asking him for proof that he had a doctorate in psychology and he proposed that for those people that want that information, they should pay $75 to see his name in a graduation commencement program. One would think that him showing the doctorate would be more convincing and shut up all the haters than showing his name in a program. You see, most people are not aware of the fact that just because your name is shown on a graduation ceremony program doesn't mean you actually got your doctorate. I remember a time he created a Facebook post saying that he had some Jordan shoes that he wore only once or twice and that he's going to go to Ghana and barter it off for a few dashikis. Now, if you look at these Jordans, you can obviously tell that it was not worn just once or twice. It is beat up. It has scoff marks. And so basically, it's obviously a lie that he's telling that he wore it once or twice. But consider the fact that Umar has money. He's not broke. He's not starving. And he think it would be a good idea. He think it would be an honorable, fair exchange to take some beat up Jordans and barter it off for a few, not one, but a few dashikis. This kind of train of thought can only come from either an innocent child who knows no better or a greedy hotep hustler. When we go back to 2014, we find Umar on Twitter saying that the school isn't open yet and he needs to raise $2 million as soon as possible. In addition, he is currently a principal of a public school. The thing is, he never tells us what the name of this school is. Now, here is where the greedy hotep mentality comes in. He wants you to send that $2 million to his personal PayPal account in order for him to build an African-centered school. Later, Umar will claim that he raised $125,000 and then PayPal froze his account. Since that announcement, that money has not been mentioned again. So now here we are in 2018. It's been four years since Dr. Umar Johnson promised to open an African-centered school. The school has not been created. No concrete location for the school has been announced. No proposal for how the teachers will be selected has been announced. No curriculum uh, for the school has been disclosed. No information on how much the tuition for the school has been disclosed. But here we see Umar Johnson selling pillows for a school that doesn't exist. People, you are dealing with a greedy hotep hustler. This man is selling red, black, and green pillows. After raising $700,000 for a school via PayPal, via GoFundMe, and via money orders. I want you guys to listen to this audio clip of Umar Johnson verbally abusing black people and showing his true colors as a greedy hotep hustler. I'm getting sick and tired of getting texts on my cell phone for black folk talking about I've donated like they done. You gave me 25 damn dollars and you think you free now. We got to raise $2 million. Your ass ain't done. I better get some more and some more and some more and some more until we hit the goal, brothers and sisters. That's the way we're going to have to do this. So we still, we, we, we doing okay. PayPal sabotaged this, y'all. Let me tell y'all PayPal sabotaged. <laughs> I called PayPal before I started using PayPal for the school fundraising. And I didn't want to use PayPal, but lazy Negroes kept talking about why I just can't make an online donation. Take your lazy ass to the post office and get a spam. Even when I was principal, I had to fight black parents. I want my son tested, Dr. Johnson. For what? Learning disability. 
Your son is in the third grade. What do you mean? I think he got to learn it. Well, the boy only been in my school for one year. In the school he came from, nobody learned. They ain't made AYP since AYP started. So why don't you give me a chance to work with your son? Uh Uh-uh, I want him tested. I'm not testing him because there ain't nothing wrong with him. His problem is your trifling ass. Get out my office. (laughs) I'm honest with parents. That's the new Umar. You want some help with your son? Did I get a donation? Now I want to hear that. Mail the donation, then you call me back, and then I'll help you with your son. But you're not going to use me to fight white folks when your son shouldn't even have to put up with them in the first place. African spirituality. It's not a religious school. You're not into that. I don't want the kids coming back home to you because you're part of the problem. You got Willie Lynch all in your system. White Jesus on the wall, teaching your kids to be multicultural, daughter looking like Beyonce, a head full of blind ass weed. What the hell I want her coming back home to you for? A lot of people was asking me, uh, am I selling the FDMG pillows? Yes, you can order these. If you're interested in purchasing an FDMG special collector's edition pillow, red, black, and green FDMG pillow, as you can see, nice and comfortable. I'm going to have them for sale here tomorrow in uh, Buffalo, New York. But if you want to buy one, you can text me 215-989-9858. 215-989-9858 and you can show your love in your office or your home or your study for the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy. Show your support for Dr. Umar Johnson. Just text me 215-989-9858 and I will send you the link to purchase the pillow and I will ship it right out to you. Custom made by hand. FDMG Pillows, Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy. How can black folks claim they want to fight white supremacy but cannot police their own people? It's almost as if they're waiting for the white man to come in and clean up their community of the scam artists and criminals. Many people have come out and stated that Umar is suffering from narcissistic personality disorder. When you go to his Facebook page, you will see his face on the continent of Africa with a crown on his head. He truly believes that he is the prince of Pan-Africanism. He truly believes that he is the number one most requested scholar and orator in America. Umar Johnson thinks he is a rapper because now he's going around calling himself Papa, which stands for Prince of Pan-Africanism. In interviews, he is calling himself the King Kong of Consciousness. In multiple interviews, Umar Johnson has reiterated the fact that because he was born on August the 21st, which happens to be the day of the Nat Turner Slave Rebellion, the Frederick Douglass Fugitive Slave Convention, the Haitian Revolution, and the George Jackson Prison Revolution, that he is special and he doesn't believe in coincidences. What Umar Johnson is not considering is the fact that being born on August the 21st doesn't make him more special than the millions of people that were born on that same day. But because Umar is suffering from narcissistic personality disorder, he believes that he is the chosen Messiah because he was born on August the 21st. To the people that still support Umar Johnson, I'm not making this video to hate on this man. I want him to get help. If you support him, you can continue to give him your money. You can go out and get his action figures that are currently on sale. You can purchase his comic book that is currently on sale. When we look on social media, we see him promoting his action figure and comic book as Papa, a psychologist by day, protecting the black community by night sidestepping the haters. I don't want anyone to stop supporting Umar. If you want to continue to attend his single mother events and purchase his pillows, hoodies, and action figures, please don't let me stop you. There's a saying that a fool and his money are soon parted because it is easy to sell something to someone foolish. At this point, there is overwhelming evidence that Umar Johnson is mentally unstable and dangerous. His own father has made multiple videos apologizing for his son's behavior. His own followers have been verbally assaulted when asking about the donation money and the school. The Frederick Douglass family has made a public declaration stating that they do not know Umar Johnson 
and they do not want to be associated with him in any way, shape, or form. Let's listen to some quotes that have helped many people arrive to my conclusion that Umar is a narcissist. Do you understand? You're talking to a doctor here, not no hotel hustler. You're talking to a doctor. Six degrees count them, Negro. Six degrees and all, and anyone can lift up a telephone and call and verify those degrees. I have more videos on YouTube than any other scholar. I speak around the world more than any other scholar. Show me where I've ever said I was a descendant. I've only claimed one thing, kinsman. I will not abandon my agenda because as I have told so many of you for so long, I do the work that I do because I believe that I was born to do it. This isn't coming from a place of narcissism. This isn't coming from a place of arrogance. But I believe within my heart that it is no coincidence that I happen to be related to the greatest black leader of the 19th century. And that I happen to be a disciple of the greatest black leader of the 20th century. I don't believe in coincidences. I don't believe it was a coincidence that my mother brought me into this world on the same day that the Nat Turner War began. That she brought me into this world on the same day that the Haitian Revolution began. That she brought me into this world the same day that the George Jackson prison revolution began that she brought me into this world on the same day that the frederick douglas fugitive slave convention began i don't believe in no coincidences there are so many other things that i want to discuss but we're going to continue that in part two and we're going to end it here speaking about the phantom school people there is no school and was never going to be a fdmg school and i can prove that by giving you two reasons why number one Umar Johnson, from the beginning, never wanted to be transparent, never wanted people to know how the money's being spent and how much money he has raised. Umar Johnson began his fundraising campaign by taking donations directly to his PayPal account and taking money orders. Now, it is still unknown how much money he really raised via PayPal and via money order. He claims that he raised $125,000 through PayPal, but he never disclosed how much money he raised through money orders. On GoFundMe, he raised about $400,000. He then claims that GoFundMe needed information to verify the legality of the fundraiser. He sent them information once, and then he claims that he wasn't going to send them information again. And so GoFundMe closed that account, and now the money is gone. Number two. Umar Johnson, for the past three years, did not file a Form 990, which is required by law for all nonprofit tax exempt organizations. The reason that Umar did not file a tax return for the school for the past three years is because he could not account for the money, and there was never going to be a school. People, this is information you can look up for yourself. Please visit the website and put in the information you see on the screen. And you will see for yourself that he has not filed a Form 990 for the past three consecutive years, which means that he is not serious about building a school. And he had no plan of being accountable for the money that was raised for the school. And that marks the end of this video. I want to thank you for watching, and I want you to stay tuned for part two, where I'm going to break down and expose a bunch of Umar Johnson's lies such as him being a doctor, a psychologist, and a descendant of Frederick Douglass and Harriet Tubman.